Hey guys, Jason here. I'm just going to do a real quick update before I go back to school this week. So I'm just going to show you a couple new things, answer a few more questions, just a quick video. I hope you enjoy. Alright, real quick I want to show you this new car that I got. This is a 50 ton war emergency hopper from Atlas. This is part of their Steam Era Classics line and I usually wouldn't get into detail on something as simple as a freight car but this is the first type of steam era coal car that um, I've added to the layout and the reason why I wanted to point this out was because after I took it out of the box I was very pleased with the detailing and the quality of this car it is actually a very heavy car this is all die cast it's very heavy the coal load is plastic but it's very realistic it doesn't stick out too high like some of the Lionel and MTH coal loads do so it's very detailed it's very heavy and um, I'm really glad that um, I added this to the layout here's something else that my dad actually bought for the layout this is a Wheeling and Lake Erie caboose and he simply bought it because it would look great um, at the end of the Wheeling and Lake Erie locomotive. Uh, the lights inside are very bright. Um, it's your standard caboose. It's from MTH. Uh, highly detailed. It doesn't smoke or anything, but is still a uh, top-of-the-line, highly detailed caboose. And uh, I think it's a great addition to the layout. I want to point out really quick that all of my Santa Fe passenger cars are on the shelf. And the reason that is, is because after I made my last update video, one of the A units of the ABBA consist shorted out and it was locked in reverse. And so I might actually be able to give you guys a little bit of a tip to avoid what happened to my, uh, what happened to my A unit. Now, I was filming the video, and when I got done, I was just running it around the layout and one of the cars actually derailed on one of these switches for some unknown reason and uh, it tripped the uh, the transformer to shut off power to the track and rather than me just shutting off the transformer and pushing the emergency stop button I actually re-railed the car on the track while there was still power being fed so immediately, I re-railed the car, the transformer boosted a ton of power throughout the layout, and I believe that's what shorted my A unit. Now there's two A units in the consist, it's A, B, B, A, and the two A units are powered. So only one of the A units actually is broken, but it's locked in reverse, and you have to run the two A units together or else it won't work. So. If you're uh, running DCS and you think you have a derailment, don't do what I did. Um, just hit the emergency stop button right away, fix your problem, uh, reset everything, and start it all up again. Um, learn from my mistake. Luckily, the engine is under warranty, so uh, hopefully whatever part it needs will uh, come into the store. Or uh, the worst thing is if I have to send the locomotive out because you never know how long that could take. It's usually a couple months. So hopefully that'll be back soon. Uh, I did get back my Norfolk Southern ES44 as I might have mentioned. So uh, I have that running together again with the SD50. Um, Norfolk Southern is my favorite modern road name. I have two locomotives. I actually have one more that's ordered. And uh, there's one more in the store that... Um, I really like and I might be able to pull some money out and get that sometime but uh, Norfolk Southern's my favorite modern road name uh, my favorite steam air road name is New York Central and the art area over here is going to be relatively New York Central themed I have a switch tower right here that's New York Central and I have this light up sign that's New York Central that I'll mount on top of the building those are my two favorite road names. I buy lots of other stuff besides it, though. Of course, I have BNSF, Chesapeake and Ohio, Wheeling and Lake Erie, uh, Norfolk and Western, and my freight consists of just a ton of different stuff. 
Um, somebody asked about my intermodal fleet, and uh, I like to focus around TTX equipment, which are like these yellow well cars and uh, these Gunderson well cars. As far as the containers that go in it, I try to keep it prototypical. My favorite is JB Hunt and EMP, but those containers are really hard to find. Um, you can have them custom painted though. Uh, there's somebody on the OGR forum who will custom paint containers, and I've seen some of his completed work, and so that might be something I do someday. But of course, intermodal is a huge part of uh, modern rolling stock, so I collect a fair amount of that. I'm waiting for somebody to make a five car pack of well cars. These are Gunderson cars, um, which are different from the regular well cars. So I'm waiting for somebody to release that. I have a feeling it's going to be Atlas. So hopefully somebody releases those soon. I'm also a big collector of these Triple Crown road railers. Uh, Bowser first made them, and then they sold the tooling to Weaver, who made them. And they're doing a uh, special rerun of the road railer, and I ordered a bunch of those. So hopefully those come in sometime in the next few months. But it's very popular to see those on uh, being pulled by Norfolk Southern locomotives. The next project that I'm working on is completing the mountain. Here is some start to plaster work that really didn't come out the way I wanted it to. At least I thought. I'm still going to be redoing some. However, uh, my dad and I started making a whole bunch of rock molds uh, using uh, molds from Woodland Scenics. And we have a whole bunch of different molds. Here's an example of the biggest one that we have. That looks pretty cool. And uh, when I started just eyeballing some of the pieces in place and setting them up, it actually looked pretty good. So I don't think I'm going to have to make quite as many dramatic changes as I might have thought. But this is just uh, the beginning of it. A whole lot more to go. But uh, we have a start. We have a lot of rock molds made. So uh, hopefully we can start doing some of that and then getting the mountain painted and putting scenery on it and trees, etc. But uh, start to that, it's pretty messy and uh, it's going to take a while, but uh, it'll be worth it. It's probably going to be the most difficult part of the layout, so whenever we get that finished, uh, I'll be able to get a whole lot more done and the layout will really come together in terms of scenery. A few things coming up. I have a rail fanning video that I uh, made this week that I'll probably post mm, in the next week or so. And uh, like I said in my last update, I'm still working on payments for my uh, latest set, which hopefully will be added in maybe a month. Uh, we'll see. It could be longer. It could be less time. But as of today, I'm halfway done with the payments. so. I'm going to keep working on that. I'm very excited to add that to the layout. Um, keep guessing at what it is. Um, a lot of people have been get, taking good guesses at what that set might be. So uh, feel free to send me a personal message and uh, maybe I'll tell you what that set really is. But uh, that'll be coming soon enough. And uh, please feel free to ask more questions. Um, I think I've answered most of the ones that you've been asking, but if I miss something, feel free to send me that same question again or ask new questions. Um, I'm learning a lot building this layout, and uh, when people ask questions, it gets me thinking about my layout and other layouts. Um, so please keep asking questions. I'm more than happy to answer them. Um, this is a learning process, and one of the reasons why I think we all post videos on YouTube is not just to see each other's trains but to learn from one another and uh, pick up new tips and ideas. Um, there's very there's many inspiring videos on YouTube. Um, there's been a lot of guys that have helped me over the last couple of years and I'll make a video mentioning all those guys because there's a lot of them and uh, so that's something I'll talk about in uh, an upcoming update. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to run the trains here a little bit, and uh, hopefully it won't be too long till my next update. But take care, and thanks for watching.